go through some of the features and benefits and we'll talk about how to clean it. It's a lot easier than other ones. This has been designed for the food and dairy industry. You have your main hot tub, which is around 250 litres. It's highly polished inside. And you've got a grid, a safety grid, where you can pour. And if you disconnect, if you remove the grid, it's got an interlock on it and everything will stop. Right? You've got an, the entrance to it is an oval shape, not a round shape, so we get good flow of product in there. And also on the back of the hopper, we have a vibrator, which constantly vibrates the, the hopper, so we get good flow going into the product. Also, the incline auger is fully welded all the way through, so there's no stitch welding anywhere. So, nowhere where product can get caught. Now, The outlet is over here. This is a 1.9 discharge, 2.7 is higher. Notice you've got a triclover fitting on the top and you've got a handle because the motor on the IPAC incline auger is down at the bottom. The reason it's down at the bottom is because this allows us to quickly pull the whole auger tube out, all auger itself out, and easily clean the whole system. Everything comes apart without, without tools. We've also got a flap down here at the bottom with a safety grid on it and when that's closed there's a safety interlock. You can't put your fingers up there or anything like that but that allows any residual product to come out if we don't want to pull the whole auger tool out. Now let's have a quick look at how you would dismantle it. First of all you release this Second of all, undo these clips. Mm -hmm. Right, so we disconnected that. This comes down, all the way down. You can get to everything. You can get to the hopper. You can get to, to the actual inlet of the auger tool. Then we disconnect the triclover fitting. We okay. lower down the height. We grab the handle after taking off the triclover fitting and the end cap. And we pull out the whole auger. See, the product comes with it. Voila. Now you can clean everything because you've just got a clean pipe. Get everything out of the pipe. All of this can be removed as well. You can wash it, you can clean it, and then you put the whole thing back together again.